Hey, good morning, everyone. How's it going today? Coach Alvarez here, back at you with another episode of Coffee with Coach. New start to the day, new start to the week. It's Monday. Hope you're up making some moves, got the mind in the right place. But if not, let's get it to the to the right place where it needs to be. So uh, again, same thing, normal routine, you know, taught 6 a.m. class this morning, get home, do what I got to do, walk my dog, listening to the compound effect, and then also reading it. So I wanted to share something that I picked up today that uh, I've talked, I think I've talked about maybe before, maybe not in one of the episodes, but somewhere else. But uh, again, if you're not sure what I'm referring to, it's the compound effect, Darren Hardy. So I want to go ahead and go right into it. Um, it actually says the title is, is actually how goal setting actually works. The mystery secret revealed, right? The secret. Okay. So let's get into the secret. You only see, experience, and get what you look for. If you don't know what to look for, you certainly won't get it. By our very nature, we are goal-seeking creatures. Our brain is always trying to align our outer world with what we're seeing and expecting in our inner world. So, when you instruct your brain to look for things you want, you will begin to see them. In fact, the object of your desire has probably always existed around you, but your mind and eyes weren't open to seeing it. In reality, this is how the law of attraction really works. It is not that mysterious, esoteric voodoo it sometimes sounds like. It's far simpler and more practical than that. We are bombarded with billions of sensory, visual, audio, physical. Hey, to keep ourselves from going insane, we ignore 99.9% of them, only really seeing, hearing, or experience those upon which our mind focuses. This is why when you think something, it appears that you are miraculously drawing it into your life. In reality, you're now just seeing what was already there. You are truly attracting it into your life. It wasn't there before or accessible to you until your thoughts focused and directed your mind to seeing it. Make sense? This isn't mysterious at all. In fact, quite logical. Now, with this new perception, whatever your mind is thinking internally, it will focus on and all of a sudden see within that 99.9% of remaining space. Here's a well-worn example because it's so true. In shopping for or buying a new car, you suddenly start seeing that model and make everywhere, right? I use this all the time with my uh, students with jiu-jitsu. It seems like there are tons of them on the streets all of a sudden when they weren't there yesterday. But is that realistic? Of course not. They were there all along, but you weren't paying attention to them. Thus, they really didn't exist to you until you gave them your attention. When you define your goals, you give your brain something new to look for and focus on. It's as if you're giving your mind a new set of eyes from which to see all the people, circumstances, conversations, resources, ideas, creativity surrounding you. With this new perspective and inner itinerary, your mind proceeds to match up on the outside what you want most on the inside, your goal. It's that simple. The difference in how you experience the world and draw ideas, people, and opportunities into your life after you have clearly defined your goals is profound. And then he just goes on to say in one of his interviews with Brian Tracy, which is another motivational uh, speaker. If you don't know who Brian Tracy is, you should look him up. A lot of YouTube videos, books, everything, self-help, improvement stuff, great stuff. Um, He put it this way. Top people have very clear goals. They know who they are and they know what they want. They write it down and they make plans for accomplishment. Unsuccessful people carry their goals around in their head like marbles rattling around in a can. We And we say a goal that is not in writing is merely a fantasy in everybody's fantasies. Uh, but those fantasies are like bullets with no powder in the cartridge. People go through life shooting blanks without written goals and that's the starting point. I suggest you take some time today to make a list of your most important goals I recommend recommend considering goals in all aspects of your life, just not your business or finances. Be wary of the high price of putting too much focus on a single aspect of your life to the exclusion of everything else. Go for a whole life success, balance in all aspects of life that are important to you. Business, finances, health, well-being, spirituality, family, relationships, and lifestyle. So, um, yeah, it's just one of those things where, like, because I'm reading this stuff more and more, um, you know, I'm listening to it, it comes to me a lot more than what it did before. I think I gave that example before where, uh, uh, when I was a blue belt in jujitsu, my instructor, um, 
had a message of the week on the on the board as a dry erase board. So as soon as you open the door, there was this board, right? You couldn't miss it because it was right in front of you. And uh, he changed out the message of the week every week. And then, like I said, you know, just for, I don't know how many days, months, I don't know, maybe even a year. Um, I read it and just kept going to class, but it wasn't until one day it actually sank. Some, whatever was written there kind of pertained to what I was going through at that time. And ever since that day, um, I've been like researching and, and looking for like positive affirmations, you know, more positive things. I mean, you're talking a very, very long time ago. So I've been like into this stuff for a very long time for years. But as the years go on, it just it's just it's out there everywhere because I'm actually like drawn to it and looking for it. Um, so it's just one of those things where you got to just kind of pull and I'm gonna go into it. I'll go on forever, man. I'll be here all day trying to read this stuff to you. But he talks about, you know, implementing good habits, removing the bad habits and putting good things in place and how to go forward, so on and so forth. So I'll, 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 uh, I'll share that with you guys uh, probably tomorrow. But, um, you know, just you know, you, you get what you're looking for. And if you're not looking for it, you're not getting it. So, you know, what is it that your eyes and everything is attracted to, your mind's attracted to right now? And if it's not really what you want in life, then we need to look for and write down and put in place what it is that we want, who we, the kind of person that we want to be. That's the other thing. Um, I do talk to a lot of individuals where they want a lot of things, um, but they're not really wanting to like change like who they are on the inside. So that's important. You know, you, you can't really have and be successful in life if you're not really willing to change like who you are as an individual on the inside. I mean, you can have money, cars, houses, whatever, but you know, if you're hurting on the inside and you're just a, you know, a sour, salty, you know, hating person, um, life is still going to suck. It's not, it's not really going to get much better. You have a lot of nice things. Uh, but that doesn't mean that you're happy. So, you know, getting into this stuff and in, in, in the self-development and like improving yourself, that's like true happiness. You know what I mean? Like that's it. And then all the other stuff will come, you know, the finances and the other things that you want um, will be there for you. But you have to actually look for it and put it in place. And it's not just possessions. It's actually like who you are on the inside. So hope that helps today. Um, you know, if you're not where you want to be, Let's get where you want to be, but it all starts with like you gotta who who you gotta write it down. Who do you want to be? Where do you want to be at? And then like let's get after it. Let's do it. Today's the day. No more waiting around. No more you know waiting for things to just come our way. Like we have the op opportunity and the options to make things happen for us today. So let's get that done. So I gotta finish up, wrap up. I got this run to do. Then it's time for jujitsu class. All right, you guys have a great day, great rest of the week, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.